From dreams of becoming a professional athlete to dishwashing in kitchens, choosing vocational school instead of college, becoming a head chef at 27 years old, and the first Scottish chef to win three Michelin stars, building a multi-million dollar restaurant business, and growing his brand to take over television. This is Gordon James Ramsay. Born November 8, 1966, is a British chef, restaurateur, television personality, and writer. He has a net worth of $220 million, and he's done it all without a college degree. Number 10, tough times build a tough kid. Gordon was born in Johnstone, Scotland with three siblings. His mother, Helen, was a nurse and his father, Gordon James Ramsay Sr. was an unstable figure that worked a variety of jobs ranging from a swimming pool manager to a welder to a shopkeeper. The family was forced to move constantly due to his father's poor choices, primarily driven by his alcoholism. Gordon Ramsay Sr. was a hard-drinking womanizer that would occasionally get violent, be abusive, and neglect his children. 20 years ago, I got dealt a dysfunctional card. My father became an alcoholic. This tough home life began to build Gordon into the tough-minded, independent person that would make big moves in the future. Number 9. Athletic Dreams to Dishwashing in Kitchens Gordon was always a hard-working, driven person. When he was a child, that manifested into being competitive in sports. He had hopes of becoming a professional soccer player and was quite good, but those dreams would crumble after he sustained a serious knee injury. As a teen, he would gain some experience in kitchens as a dishwasher in a local Indian restaurant where his sister was a waitress. Then at the age of 16, he was feeling the need for independence. He decided to move out of his family's home and moved into an apartment in Banbury. Number 8. Vocational School Instead of College At 19 years old, Gordon would enroll at North Oxfordshire Technical College studying hotel management. He has stated that he made the decision to enter catering college as a quote, complete accident. Around this time, he was also working as a commie chef at the Roxton House Hotel. He would also run the kitchen and 60 seat dining room at the Wickham Arms. But this position would come to a halt due to a sexual relationship that Gordon had with the owner's wife. Gordon would complete his vocational journey at North Oxfordshire Technical College in 1987 and then make his way to London where he worked in a series of restaurants until he made the decision to work for Marco Pierre White at Harvey's. Number 7. From French Cuisine to Italian Cuisine After almost three years, Gordon shifted his focus towards studying French cuisine. Marco Pierre White discouraged Ramsay from taking a job in Paris, instead suggesting he work for Albert Roux at La Gavranche in Mayfair. Gordon worked there for about a year until Albert Roux left to run a kitchen at Hotel Diva, a ski resort in the French Alps. Ramsay followed, becoming his number two. Later, a 23-year-old Gordon moved to Paris to work with two Michelin star chefs, Joël Rubichon and Guy Savoie. Three years later, he would opt out of the high-stress environment of French kitchens and would spend a year working as a personal chef on a private yacht. With this position, the boat spent time throughout Italy, allowing Ramsay to learn about Italian cuisine. Number 6. Head Chef at 27 Gordon returned to London in 1993, and at only 27 years old, he was offered the position of head chef at the three Michelin-starred restaurant La Tante Claire. Shortly after, Marco Pierre White would connect him with an even more enticing offer, with the owners of the restaurant Rossmore. The offer was a head chef position plus 10% share in the restaurant. He accepted the offer and the restaurant was renamed Aubergine. It went on to win its first Michelin star 14 months later. Only a few years after that, in 1997, it won its second Michelin star. The restaurant was a great success, so much so that the majority owners wanted to turn Aubergine into a chain. Gordon disagreed and made the most important decision of his life. He left Aubergine and set out on his own. Number 5. Restaurant Gordon Ramsay to Ramsay Restaurants Around the Globe In 1998, with the help of his father-in-law, he opened his own restaurant in Chelsea, Restaurant Gordon Ramsay. He enlisted the help of some of his former colleagues at Aubergine. The restaurant took off, and by 2001, restaurant Gordon Ramsay gained its third Michelin star, making Gordon the first Scot to do so. After he set a footing with the success of his own restaurant, he began to expand his empire at a rapid pace. 
Over the next few years, he began opening restaurants around the world, extending outside of the UK into places like Dubai, Tokyo, Ireland, Canada, and the United States. Now that Gordon had established a multi-million dollar restaurant business, it was time to bring the Ramsey brand onto television. Number 4. Television Takeover In 2004, he launched the award-winning British series Ramsey's Kitchen Nightmares, where he showed the poor management and often gross underbelly of failing restaurants, with the attempt of giving them the guidance to turn their failing restaurants to well-run successful businesses. He also launched Hell's Kitchen, in which he took the challenge of turning aspiring restaurateurs into quality chefs. By 2007, he began starring in American versions of both shows. In 2012, the Hell's Kitchen formula was applied to the lodging industry in the series Hotel Hell. Another Ramsey program was The F Word, a play on the word food and Ramsey's favorite four-letter foul language word. The series premiered in the UK in 2005, and the American version, Master Chef, debuted in 2010. Master Chef Junior, which had children as the contestants, began airing in 2013 in the United States. In 2017, Ramsey appeared in the two-part British documentary series, Gordon on Cocaine, a series about the illegal drug. Two years later, Gordon Ramsay Uncharted made its debut. The TV show followed Ramsay as he traveled around the world to experience different cuisines and cultures. All of Ramsay's business interests, including restaurants, media, and consultancy, are held in the company Gordon Ramsay Holdings Limited, which is run in partnership with his father-in-law, with Gordon having a 69% stake in the company. Want to hear more about entrepreneurs that have succeeded without a college degree? Subscribe to our channel, where our goal is to educate, encourage, and entertain zero-degree entrepreneurs just like you. Now back to the countdown. Number 3. Anti-Vegan to Loving Vegan Food In the past, Gordon didn't seem to have much respect for vegetarianism and veganism. Back in 2003, when asked for his most recent lie, he stated, quote, To a table of vegetarians who had artichoke soup, I told them that it was made with vegetable stock when it was chicken stock. During a Kitchen Nightmares interview, when asked what his biggest nightmare was, he jokingly said, quote, my biggest nightmare would be if my kids ever came up to me and said, dad, I'm a vegetarian. When asked on Twitter if he was allergic to anything, he wrote, quote, vegans, and then followed up with, quote, it's a joke, Jack, it's not vegans, it's vegetarians. But then on the series The F Word, Ramsey showed a softened side of vegetarianism after learning about the intensive pig farming practices, stating, quote, It's enough to make anyone turn effing vegetarian for God's sake, and I've always sort of knocked vegetarians and vegans for missing out on the most amazing flavor that you can get from meat. But you can see why so many people change instantly. Then in 2019, he introduced more vegan options to his restaurants, such as a vegan roast. And then in 2022, on an episode of Master Chef Back to Win, Ramsey said, quote, After all these years, I can finally admit that I actually love vegan food. Number 2. Health, Fitness, and Free Time Ramsey has seen many chefs become overweight, causing them to be less effective in the kitchen because of it. And this became one of his main reasons he is really into fitness. He has participated in over 15 marathons, three ultra marathons, three half Ironmans, and two Ironman World Championships. He has stated that cycling has improved his physical and mental health. He is also a trained martial artist holding a black belt in karate. In addition to his high activity level, Gordon maintains a very modest food intake, a challenging thought for someone who is always around amazing food. He says he has a grazing style diet that he picked up from tasting food in kitchens and being a judge, so he rarely eats large meals. When he's not pushing his body to its physical limits with marathons, he will spend some time on, of all places, TikTok, where he has his own TikTok account boasting over 35 million followers. There you will find expected posts like cooking tips, as well as the more popular series of posts, hashtag Ramsey Reacts, where he reacts to people's home cooking. And when he does put down his phone to flop down on the couch to relax, he may flick to his favorite Disney movie, Ratatouille. Nine down, one to go. Which were the most surprising to you? Were there any interesting things that we missed? Comment down below. Number one, fun food facts. If you've seen Gordon Ramsay on one of his TV shows, you quickly gain an understanding of the standard he sets in his kitchens and his take on food in general. But there may be some things that you wouldn't expect from this high-end chef like the fact that he became a big fan of In-N-Out Burger. 
He once told a Scottish newspaper, quote, in and out burgers were extraordinary. I was so bad. I sat in the restaurant, had my double cheeseburger, then 10 minutes later, I drove back around and got the same thing again to take away. I wish that they were set up in London because if there's one thing I miss, it's an in and out burger. I love in and out burger, honestly. Yeah. I just wish they'd open up in bloody England. Ramsey orders his burgers animal style with mustard fried into each patty, pickles, grilled onions, and extra spread. For his mornings, he enjoys a full English breakfast with extra baked beans, and he enjoys it so much, he has stated that he would choose this as his last supper. His favorite American food is grits topped with shrimp and Parmesan cheese. He hates Hawaiian pizza, stating, quote, pineapple does not go on top of pizza. And when he has a flight to catch, he refuses to eat on airplanes, stating, quote, there's no effing way I eat on planes. I know where the food's been, I know where it goes, and I know how long it took before it got on board. This has been 10 Things You May Not Know About Gordon Ramsay. If you would like to suggest a zero-degree entrepreneur for a future episode, or you yourself are a zero-degree entrepreneur, and you would like to share your story, please go to zerodegreeentrepreneur.com.